Welcome everyone to our new tutorial today here is visual effects tutorial here in order to explain you how to use uh, trap code star glow for Adobe After Effects. Trap, trap code star glow is a plugin made by trap code and it basically creates star glints which can be added to all kind of layers. This effect is very used in order to create original glow effects. And can be used in every every kind of composition you like. So let's begin. Maybe let's begin with uh, some text. So I'm going to create a new text layer and typing something with a text type tool. Okay, so this is our layer. We go to FX and presets, type star glow, and you automatically get Trapco star glow. Then drag it to your layer in order to apply this filter to your lay to your writing. Now you can simply see that our text gets those special streaks and likes which makes him like a star this is the name star glow so as we as you can see there are some important settings directly in the effects control panel for example the streak land which controls the land and the sides the general sides or of the light rays which starts from the layer and the boost light which is the basic glow which you can obtain just increasing this value then you can see there are some other sub -men menus in this effect like the individual lengths. This sets the specific length of each ray. So every up la every layer which goes up, every layer every light ray which goes down, left, right, up left, right, down left, down right. So it's quite specific in order to let you get precise results and to let you have uh, uh, to customize your effect as you want so let's try to play around with the settings as you can see I'm adjusting this this trick size in order to obtain different results pretty nice but there are also some more settings some individual settings like the individual colors the individual colors set the color map for every uh, streak order uh, in order by direction as you we already saw individual lengths but to understand better this submenu we must go first to the color map A, B and C so the color map set the gradient and the, the mapping of uh, the color mapping of, uh, of our race there are many presets you can choose just clicking on preset the three color gradient, the five color gradient, one color more basic 
the fire mars chemistry deep sea electric as you can see these are really powerful and can be customized just clicking and uh, picking new colors in the highlight midtones and shadows color so we can change oh my god it's horrible uh, we can of course change our presets just just modifying the color settings for the highlight uh, the most most glowing parts are ray the midtones and the shadows the darker part there are, there is also the color map B uh, but the re let's come come back to the individual color so here as you can see uh, the color map are already assigned but we can of course change the color map and to modify this trick color just clicking on it uh, uh, here we have the shimmer shimmer uh, is like a, a fractal noise which animates with the turbulence it animates our glow rays and there is a face, there is a m an amount and this is like the trap coat shine shimmer we already saw in a, in a precedent tutorial I made on trap coat shine but let's see how does this work the amount sets the influence of this fractal noise the detail of course the detail of uh, the fractal and the face of course is used to animate the noise so I can activate keyframes and set three loops and set the amount to 50 as you, and as you can see As you can see, the the light rays are automatically animated by a random fractal noise, which creates cool movements, which can be used in order to create a awesome motion graphic effects. So there are also some other parameters like the preprocess submenu contains the threshold. Uh, this parameter cuts away the the darker part or light rays if increased as you can see as much as you increase the effect only the most uh, bright the brighter parts or layer remains you can also use the softness which smooths the threshold there you can also use a, a, ma a mask but we don't care about it now uh, okay there is also this transfer mode which is automatically set to screen but we can also set to add if but this is useful only if you are applying star, star goal on a layer like a video layer which contains a footage so for the at the moment we're going just to use the screen uh, there is uh, in the end there is the source opacity and the star glow opacity which allow you, allows you to set the effect opacity and also to control directly the source of uh, the layer the layer of course uh, opacity so the transparency of the layer and the star glow opacity this is really like the trap code shine plug in fact those two are similar plugins but they are all both awesome and can be combined 
in order to, to create uh, excellent shining and glints effects so that's all thank you for watching this tutorial I hope you learned how to use this fantastic plugin thanks for watching and don't forget to su subscribe to our channel in order to support our activity and to get new tutorials thank you for watching goodbye